while many people these days have switched over to USB microphones, most of us are still using the old-fashioned kind of mic where you just stick it on your shirt, you plug the other end into the microphone port of your laptop or computer, and Bob's your uncle. Unfortunately, uh, very often, these microphones simply stop working. Usually what happens is the microphone volume gets really, really low and you can't hear anything, you gotta boost the levels really high. So the question is, how do you fix this problem of either super low microphone volume or no mic volume at all? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do if possible is just a few simple tests. If you have a friend that has another microphone, get your friend's microphone, plug it into your microphone port on your computer. If your friend's microphone works, then your mic is bad and you simply need to buy a new one. Alternatively, you can take your microphone and plug it into the microphone port of your friend's machine. And if it works on your friend's machine, but it doesn't work on yours, that means there's a problem with the microphone port on your gizmo. The next thing you want to check is Windows settings. So you're just going to go into settings and then click system and then sound and you want to come down here to the input section. Make sure the correct microphone is selected. Make sure the microphone volume, uh, most likely it's not registering or if it is registering you can see here it's just flickering slightly. You can change the level See if that fixes it. If it doesn't, then you want to scroll down here and click more sound settings. And that's going to open up the just crazy old like Windows control panel type sound settings, which are still useful because if you go to the recording tab, uh, you can see this is my built-in microphone. This is uh, another microphone. I don't have an input. So you can pick whichever one is your microphone and click properties and then go to levels and very often here you can play with some settings you can boost the level you can play with your little slider here and see if that makes a difference now the last thing you want to check is in settings privacy and security you want to scroll down to microphone and make sure that apps have access to your microphone specifically make sure that the particular app that you're using, the little toggle here is set to on. Most likely it is. This is very rarely the problem. Okay, so you've done all that and it's still not working. What do you do? Well, you hop on Amazon and you buy one of these or one of these. Now, these are actually USB sound adapters. It's USB on one end and one or two Head headphone and microphone jack or a combo jack on the other side. These are actually sound cards in a USB stick, essentially. So a little quick explanation here. When you plug most microphones into your computer, the microphone jack actually sends roughly five volts. It sends power to the microphone to make it work. And very often what happens after you've plugged and unplugged your mic into the microphone jack 50 million times, that jack wears out, the contacts inside wear out, Maybe it's making a bad connection. The second thing that can happen is the voltage your computer's mic port is supplying to the microphone can sort of die. And when that happens, the microphone either stops working completely or it can't really amplify anymore. And that's why you get the super low volume. So by buying one of these simple adapters, you're actually replacing uh, not just the microphone port, but the entire sound chip. And if you get one of these, this will supply the proper voltage for your microphone to work again. Another quick note here, if you have, say, a laptop with a single combo jack, then you're going to want to buy this guy with a single combo jack. USB on one end, combo jack on the other. If, on the other hand, your laptop or computer has separate headphone and microphone jacks, then you're going to want to get this guy, which is USB on one end, mic and headphone on the other. And the reason for that is quite simple. Uh, if you know anything about TRRS and TRS, tip ring ring sleeve, that's these different connectors. And you probably already have purchased these various adapters and figured it out at some point to get your mic and your headphones working. So, right, you can swap these interchangeably, but the easiest and quickest thing to do is if you got two ports, get this. If you got one port, get this. Then you won't have to worry about buying more cable adapters like this to make your mic and your headphones work again. It's all just very simple. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Sometimes it's not Windows, it's an actual hardware failure. And by buying one of these cute little gizmos that uh, started about 10 bucks, 
uh, your problem is solved. Note that um, I'm not actually promoting Ugreen specifically here. They do not sponsor this video. I just happen to have two Ugreen adapters and they work well and I like them. So um, yeah, that's pretty much that. For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.